It's okay to have different opinions about things. The what the f Okay, Shroud! What the f Okay, these are some bad takes! Is it being toxic to Shroud and I don't like it? He is crazy! Why do you defend this game so hard when it's a cash grab? I don't know, man. It's not a bad game. Any, True. If you, view, if you view this game as a cash grab, every game's a cash grab, bro. QE included. What's up? They're just trying to make money. Okay, Shroud, there's different levels. There's different levels. It's not, no, I don't know if it's as black and white as that. I think it's a little more multifaceted, okay? Because uh, it's more multifaceted. Okay, no. He, you can literally play PUE without spending a cent on it, unironically. It was a guy, rank one, multiple times, many times over. Alilia RF was his name. From China, he would come and destroy everyone. Completely free to play. And now, okay, that's not a cash grab. That's not a crash grab, okay? All right, but now, wrong they do monetize their game because they have to make a profit you know they're certainly like diablo immortal is not the same as diablo 4 it's not the same they are monetized differently okay so let's just clap but yeah you know okay i get where he's getting at but gonna immediately disagree with this first point you know with caveats because that's all you're trying to do when you're making a video game it's a business you're trying to make money every decision you make every poe set they make every poe skin every poe stash tab all of that that is a money grab this game is a money grab. Every yeah. game is a money grab. Business, you're trying to make money. So, for the person that's saying, like, why do you defend this game? It's a cash grab. I don't think it's a cash grab. I do think there's a lot of things wrong with the game, and I do think there's a lot of things right, but I absolutely do not think this game is a cash grab. What's the code for the giveaway? Oh, that's right. Let me talk okay. about it. PoE is free to play and then they sell MDX, right? Okay. This game is you buy it. Okay. You buy it and then they sell you MDX and then they're also going to sell us expansions. PoE doesn't sell you expansions. Uh, okay. Like, it's just not the same. It's one is monetizing far more aggressively than the other. They're, they're two different animals. They're two different animals. Am I crazy for liking the stash space? I think Don't it's. I think it's dope. What the fuck is okay, Shroud? What the fuck? Okay, these are some fucking bad takes. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. These fucking take these Shroud takes are fucking. He is crazy. He is crazy. No, is he just is he fucking baiting outrage right now? Cause I'm fucking outraged. Do not defend, dude, Shroud. They like you. Never say that again, ever. Never, ever. Shroud, dude, this fucking stash space in this game is fucked. It's not even funny. It's completely fucked. It's out of control. We know what we're looking for. I think this is a bigger problem for the casual players. If they're going to be looking at an item or a legendary power, it's a shit like, up. Yo, maybe I should save this for my other character, my ult, for the build I want to try out later. And they're gonna start saving so many items they don't need. And we who know what we're looking for are struggling. You can imagine how the casual player is gonna be uh, having that stash space. It's uh, horrific. I don't, I agree that adding a little bit more is fine. They just gotta be careful not to add too much or else it's now what? no longer a part of the game. Bro. Because part of the game should be considering what you should get rid of and what you should not. Yeah, so yet- yeah. Okay, there's, but Shroud, there's an opportunity cost of having too much dog shit. If you clog up your stash with too much dog shit, you can't find any of the good shit. That's, so you are managing regardless. Even if you had infinite space, if you have dog shit micromanagement and like, you know, Tetris with where you're storing your items and you just have, you just put everything in there, guess what? You can't find anything. So that's like, I, there is opportunity cost there, Shroud, regardless. That's right now, it's way too small that most people probably just keep everything but that is part of the game i think and i think it should always be a part of the game once you have an infinite stash what's the point of even looking at your stash or trying to think it out or you know theory craft your been plan it like that is part of that is a game in itself like think tarkov right i think they're they're trying to make what stashes have what? choices and that's a good thing what the but right now, it's just a little... I think it's a fucking technical limitation, and they, they literally are just... Fucking, they've just got some bad coding, bro. And then they're considering monetizing in the future. I, I don't think that's the case at all. The mini game of fucking items putting your stash... I mean, don't... I totally am behind item weight and inventory weight, and items feeling like, you know, like a big fucking sword is big. A gem is small, and you know, you know, you pick this big fucking thing up. It's it just big in your inventory. It's big in your stash. It takes a lot of space. But dog, I don't know. I'm not saying I want infinite stash space either. They could have a finite amount for sure. But right now, dog, it's a fucking joke. The point where people are deleting entire stash heads, myself included, deleting. When I reroll, or I just deleted my all my little 100 gear, just threw it in the trash because I did not have the stash space to store new items. That is a fucking problem.
Okay, when you're throwing away good items that you've hand selected and you you're like holy shit this is good and you're throwing it away because the game says no no stash bait that is a fucking problem i i, I am don't wrong i am on the hoarder side of things i certainly i like to keep things like oh what if i want to use this unique one day what if i want to make a build around you know a fucking dot my fucking druid whatever you know, what if i need this item i do like to keep many items but i'm a theory crafter right so of course i want to keep the items that's but arpgs are about fucking loot you should that's a p good thing right to pick up interesting pieces of loot that you might want to use in a separate build not like oh i haven't got enough stash space i've got to throw it away i'm gonna stash space i've got to throw it away because that's literally what happens there's like a checklist like okay no this has to be fucking gg oh, it's got my stash otherwise you run out of stash space oh jk you just run out of stash space anyway even with gg loot because just aspects bro just aspects holy shit little small i'd say a little they could use a little bit more oh uh, no the fact that you can no change around even if they tripled it right now it still wouldn't be enough even fucking tripled even fucking tripled it wouldn't be enough they could three exit right now and i would be like this is dog shit this is dog. i mean i wouldn't be like this is dog shit. i'd be like thank you blizzard good job that's a good start that's a good start all right now let's get those fucking aspects let's re let's redesign the aspect system all right get that gem fix in let's go boys let's go around the character that you have because you have found and accumulated items that allows you to make changes to your build further down the road is part of the character progression <laughs> being forced to throw that's those so items good away. okay i need to save my god damn that character progression in the arpg genre I think Dude, they... the, the guy in Shroud's group is based, uh, for sure, 100%. The guy, the guy in Shroud's group exactly knows what the fuck he's talking about. Who's that guy? Is that Gazzy TV? Is that Gazzy TV? He's based. Yo, Gazzy's based. Gazzy based. I mean, there's a reason why I call myself Gaston Chat. Straight up. They just need to find a way to make stashes work in different ways. Just like the gems being in your own tab, you should have a bigger... Like... The, the tab space, the space that they have is fine for direct items, but they just need to find a way to like have a little bit of like a gem tab, a little bit of an aspect tab, a little bit of a sigil tab, and then those problems will quickly go away. But they, oh, they definitely want you to have a, a, a stash problem. That's obvious. Yeah, so they fucking sell those stash tabs, bro. Like, no, it's like, it's fucking sell those stash tabs, bro. That's not because of the fucking minigame. Okay. Like, li literally, bro? I mean, he's played multiple characters. I, the, what's crazy to me is he must just enjoy gearing up a single build. Because there's no shot he's, he's collecting all loot for all builds across multiple characters. There's no shot. Because there's no, because otherwise he would be, like, not saying what he's saying right now. If you're picking up all loot for all builds, you can't even fit all loot for all builds for the druid in a single stash tab. Like, literally, you can't. You, I had to make ults. I had to make, I had to make, I had to make fucking mules. Just for Druid, right? Which is dog shit! That's bad gameplay! Mules aren't good gameplay! That is having to make a fucking level 1 character run around and put items on there that you can't fucking see and put gear on them. That is bad gameplay. That is bad gameplay. I like it. I like that they're considering it being uh, a game in itself of stash space. I think it's really fun to go through and stash everything, and then imagine if you play Pee-wee and actually felt what real item weight feels like, dude. He would fucking come, dude. To be fair, he's played Tarkov, so then he kind of actually would know what that feels like. He would feel like he would prop. He does well. He needs to play it more. He needs to play it more, dude. He needs to play it more. Get a real taste of that shit. Get a real taste. I mean, Tarkov. I mean, dude. How much did Tarkov steal from Pee-wee? Ask yourself that question. How much did they steal? Probably a lot, because they're smart devs, right? Smart devs. They probably stole. Just a very smart idea. Very smart idea. And when it comes to itemization and weight, I don't wait. Hey, no, it's for real. Have to pick and choose what I think is more I mean, valuable. Or stole it from D2, whatever. Steal it from, like, PoE stole from D2, and then they just kind of made it better. And then, you know, whatever. You could say Tarkov stole from D2, which stole from XCOM, like, one or something. I don't know where you want to get, like, you know, where you want to fucking find. Yeah, but like the, 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 the feeling of a good weight or actual opportunity cost. Do I want to pick this up? Have I got the space for it? Am I going to go back to town now? Oh, shit. Able to me at that time. I think that it creates a way more fun and engaging loop with items. Uh, they don't need to touch any of the class at the top. They need to bring then, all the other sweet. specs uh, this is a game and stuff that we are closer there. Classic D3 gonna, take, bro. Yeah, classic so D3 take. Right at level one. That's what concerns me about the seasons. They're going to try to blend it in the game and in the world and in the lore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than just... What yeah, rather than just making it a good, fun gameplay season, they have yeah, to, like, match it. So that's the okay, more things to collect. I mean, that's, 
we showed Sounds the video like. earlier, like the, the player fight. It's definitely more RNG. Crafty. It's going to be harder to get your BIS load out now. Way harder. You can actually break yeah, but like, that's, the well, again, that is the game. Yeah, it is. I was going to say it's fine. Yeah. Out to getting a BIS load out is it happens. Game, it happens too fast currently. So yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, that's true. That's true. One hundred percent. Season one is no. He's right. Season one is came came far too soon. When I guarantee you. Like half this drama that happened, they just had fucking more time, A, uh, and B, they've just been more duration and the game had just been played and everyone was like, and they were ready for it and they were hungry for it. Because right now we were already kind of full. People hadn't even like made all their characters. Like I had shit to do still. I'm playing the game fuck tons, you know, and then they're, and then like have some more. And then do you know what? It didn't taste good when they did it. They tried to force it down our throat and it did not taste good, which is an issue. That's an issue. So uh, it's slowing one, down. I, I won't poo poo that right away. That could be go fine. And use these Ones that you Poison can't creepers get to activate landslides. Whoa! Like dungeon that's it! Oh, oh, that's it! The trample slide is back! Bird, 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 bird. No, not bird. Trample slide. Trample bird. slide. Oh, going to the oh that, yeah. that's crazy. When I saw that, I was like, opposite. I was like, edge. Oh shit. I, I think the only reason it's good is it like it's because the fact that it has a fucking giga multiplier, right? Then it just say, oh yeah, your shit does forty percent more damage. Like your shit just does forty percent more damage or something. Yeah. Feels so boomer, dude. Even the edge. Wait, you feel boomer? No, this feels boomer. Like the way they're the way i know they're just it's giving it they're giving everything i don't know nothing for the one percent players literally nothing so far so as we expected a little disappointing but you're gonna tinker with the new stuff to do the same to fight lilith tinker with the new stuff to clear clear high nightmares and then oh ben's here that's it there's killing lilith which there's no new boss, which we're all practicing and doing they said they did say something about new bosses but it might Barshawn the Consumed. I mean, it makes sense that why most people don't play at the end game because there really isn't much to do. Like, if you have no, like, if you don't really want to do this, for example, right? You don't want to try to kill Lilith in certain ways, then what the fuck are you going to do? <laughs> like, really? Do nightmares for the rest of your life? Like, that's kind of lame. Yep. Almost 100. It's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The void of it getting it. It's true. There's a, there's a massive void of. Like, it's, it's literally this, bro literally this we're on this crap many times i'll draw one more time good measure this is this is the game right now this is the game starts off the shit to do the shit to do you got like will tear one whatever dude poke champ will tear you know you will tear two three four and then you get your ancestral gear and then there's nothing and there's nothing to do you're just kind of leveling up leveling up leveling it's, it's like a, it's like a very minimal like oh i got a paragon oh i've got a paragon whatever oh fuck yeah oh, i got a little slot upgrade cool and then there's a single thing at the end it's just uber lilith and then it's just it's just a complete spike and that's what you guys again kind of this this is what it looks like. where the reality is in my opinion a grass should look more like this fuck tons of shit to do at the beginning and it just gets more and more and more and more and then you know then and then and then you know what it just comes to an end and then you just start a new character right the, which is uh yeah that's 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 like you know this is this is like the the aspirational content end game crazy shit complete your character you've killed all the bosses you call it a day I'll get some new character. Yeah. Like, it basically like this. No, not whatever the fuck this is. I mean, what would you rather have? Shit to look forward to? Like, a fuck ton of stuff happening in the beginning, right? Lots of shit happening in the beginning. Lots of progression. Ramping. Your build comes online. You start becoming a god. You fight endgame bosses. There's even more extreme endgame bosses. Fucking delirious 100. Ridiculous shit. Fucking the fed. Whatever. Okay, I've done literally everything. Now we just make a new character. Or, okay, I'm starting off. I'm progressing. Got my new gear. Got my wall tears. Got from a capstone dungeons. All right, I'm a wall tear for. Oh, shit. Shit, nothing. Bitch, 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 bitch. Extreme hardcore in-game boss. Then nothing. Right? It's just, it's just not. They need this. What they need is this. Right? This doesn't exist right now. This is new in-game content. Multiple different things to do. Loads of shit. You get what I'm saying? This, this, this is like this chunk right here. Does it does not exist right now? Which is why I think the game is being. It should have been delayed and should not have been released in its current state because there's just a huge fucking void. There's a huge fucking void. And now we get a hope season, you know, season one's going to add some shit. JK, malignant. I mean, is it really adding anything? And we're going to have the gyms removed very likely. I don't think it's adding shit at all. Season two also sounds like it's going to be like a bit of nothing. Season three is the first thing that they sound like, though. No, they're designing a season that has a new in-game mechanic and it's going to add a fucking chunk, right? It's going to add in like Greaterus with leaderboards, right? And it'll add in a chunk there. And then we just need like season four, season five, season six, and then season seven. And now we're talking like a game. Now at seven, seven, now, now we're talking a game, right? So in like two, in like two years or something, in like two years, you know? Dash tags, his dash tags are a problem.
Oh, there, uh, there we go, boys. But yo, log in. That was a good, 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 uh, good trap video, guys. Content. You guys are being toxic to Shroud, and I don't like it. Can you not be talking shit about it? my boy Shroud here, dude? Okay. It's okay to have different opinions about things. Do you guys know that? Shroud can think, like, you can like, for example, someone can want the game to be slower, and that's not a bad thing. Because he is. God damn, damn. God damn.